I'm Dolly, and my channel name is Tea Time with Dolly, and I'm so glad you came to visit with me today. I think today I'm going to try to make a cake that's a little healthier than most. It's uh, you use beans instead of flour, and there's no oil added to it, so it's a little healthier. Uh, so I need one can of beans. You can, I'm, I'm using garbanzo beans or chickpeas. However, you can use black beans, pinto beans, kidney beans, I, I guess about any kind of bean. So I'm going to put this in my food processor. And then three eggs. And one half a cup of sugar. I've already measured it out so it doesn't take so long. Um, three heaping tablespoons of cocoa. And this is the regular dark cocoa, not the instant mix with the sugar added. This is just the plain cocoa. Three heaping tablespoons. There's one. Two. And one teaspoon of instant coffee. Right. Open this. This is a new new jar. One teaspoon of vanilla. teaspoon of baking powder. I need to get a clean spoon since I've got that one wet. Okay. And a pinch of salt. So, uh, so I will put this in the food processor. It says for two minutes. So, um, be kind of noisy. baking paper in the pan. I don't have any, so I just put oil in my pan. I wiped it around with paper towel. So whichever you have is fine. even in quite full two minutes so that was my timer. I was told that it shouldn't be lumpy or bumpy. The beans should be mixed really thoroughly. I maybe I should have left it on the full two minutes. But we'll see. I just I've got a third of a cup of chocolate chips. They're semi-sweet. I suppose you can use 
any kind you want. I'm just kind of mixing it down here so it kind of some of them pushes in. And I will put it in the oven. We'll see how it turns out. Just got it in the regular loaf pan. And I had my oven warming up on 350. So I need to leave it for 35 minutes. So I'll set my timer. Okay. So we'll come back in a few minutes and see how it turned out. A few moments later. Okay, we'll check the cake down and see how it turned out. I did put it on five more minutes. So uh, I know each oven varies differently and some of the size of the, of the pans. So I think it turned out very good. Now I'm going to let it cool and then I'll slice it. And it's good with whipped cream on it or just plain or I suppose you could put icing on there if you wanted to. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please click like. And if you haven't subscribed yet, I hope you will. Thank you and God bless you. Bye-bye. Later.